Hey, uh, it's time for another Broken Hammer video log for the month of March. <laughs> Welcome. Uh, yeah, busy month, so we're going to get right into it. And I'm just going to be going over our little monthly blog post. There will be some images that you're going to find in the vlog that you won't find in the, in the regular text blog, so <laughs> stick around, enjoy. Uh, we will be teasing a few things for sure. So without that said, let's go ahead and get into it. Um, first of all, I wanted to thank everybody uh, for the positive feedback we have been getting uh, from some of the backers, those that have either backed us or Indiegogo or who have bought the game recently. Uh, I actually had some uh, from the Star Citizen community <laughs> that have been contacting me because I messaged them, I uh, told them about that we had launched, and they were interested in it, they like visual novels, so they picked it up, and I warned them, I said, hey, we're still early access, we're still fresh, we're still new, and they sure, it's like, we got bugs that we're still working on. And they're like, yeah, 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 that's fine. Like, yeah, we've had some really good responses from them, in fact, uh, we had, from that, they um, actually gained a few, few sales. So I think we're connected to that because some told some other friends and they picked it up. So yeah, we're really grateful. Uh, if this is your first time um, watching one of our vlogs or even knowing about Broken Hammer or Dustin Air, do be sure to check out BrokenHammerGames.com and you'll find all the information about All Is Fair and Dustin Air and the project we've been working on since 2013. Well, mostly me and probably two more of our artists that are still from the original team that we've transitioned to over time. So be sure to check those things out. Any questions, be sure to leave comments, and we'll get back to you on them. So first off, uh, month of uh, March, uh, we did a bit of bug work and looking into how to see if we could get that full screen working. I mean, we know it works in the in the engine dev when we're doing the build, when we're working on it. We've seen it working before. It's just when we have shifted it to the actual dedicated app for the game all of a sudden it doesn't want to work it's just not working so we did some investigating into that and we actually found a solution that's kind of hitting on two different things which might solve the steam overlay problem because um, to do the steam overlay it requires a little bit of programming a little bit of tweaking and there is a couple of ways to do it with it with a, with a um, Tyranno engine game uh, but we found a new way and it might actually work out to solve the overlay and the full screen at the same time. Uh, what it is, it's a loader. So what you have is you have your program, you export your program, and then you have something else that loads it. So it loads in, and this is what runs it all. So uh, we heard about this from other Tierno devs. It was a trick they were using to kind of get around some things. So we did a little bit of testing on it. It wasn't as viable as we thought it was going to be or as we were told people say oh yeah this works this works this works and it didn't quite work too well and we don't know if that's a problem with the engine build or not it's going to require a bit more investigation to try and see if we can work that out it is the most promising lead right now because it's something where it, we can get it done and get something get something functional much faster than doing some other way however it's not going to solve the issue for ios or android uh, eventually, which is what we want to go to. We want to get those other versions out. Um, uh, oh yeah, Mac version. Yeah, we're still looking for Mac testers. We're still looking for somebody that can work on it for Mac. We sent out a bunch of feelers. Haven't gotten really any hits yet. And on Mac users that are interested, I guess they don't. I guess Mac users don't play visual novels. I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Um, otherwise, that. Um, we're still waiting for, for word from a uh, Tyranno. That's kind of, I know we do this every single month where we say, we're waiting on Tyranno, waiting on Tyranno, because it's just so much of the back end work that they're doing right now is going to possibly solve every one of these issues. And so it's not just for us, it's for every other Tyranno dev out there. And of course, it's like, we want it for us. We want, oh, yeah, yeah, come on, we're Dustin Air, come on, we want this fixed, but. Uh, we got to be mindful of the community and that the community as a whole, this is going to benefit everybody, not just us. So we want to, we're going to give Tyranno the time and we, we are looking at ideas in case Tyranno doesn't get it done. 
this year, or if they push the release on that, they run into issues, and then so if that happens, we're kind of discussing, you know, if we'd want to leave early access without some of these things fixed, or how we can fix it. So we're gonna hopefully have some solutions. We got to talk with Tyranno on that again. We've been kind of poking them with a stick, saying, hey, um, yeah, we're. Dustin Air is moving. We're going out early access eventually here. I want to get us out of early access as soon as possible. I do not want to stay in early access forever. Uh, so that is my goal, is to get us out of early access by the time in July, by our, by our anniversary, which will be five years since we launched Broken Hammer. So I'm, try, I'm really trying to get to that anniversary date. That's where a lot of my focus is now. Make sure we get that out. Uh, so that said, uh, there was a big content drop coming. Uh, I know I've teased it. We were shooting for March, April. It's looking like it's going to be going into later April. Uh, and that's mostly because we had a new piece, a new image piece that we wanted to do. And I'm going to pull up some of the images. First, I wanted to show um, what we're working on in getting an options menu functionality going for Destiny Air. Now, tier, there are the Tyranno games that do have options menus working. Some of them do a few more things different, but they generally are following the basic set template that Tyranno did. Now, it's not a really great template. It's not, it's not really what we're hoping that it's gonna be in the end. We really want a lot more options. We want a lot more flexibility with it, but of course, this is what we're having to work with right now. So, all right, what you're looking at is a config menu that we have developed, we're working on. This is a early teaser for it. You can see this in the regular blog, but uh, there will be a button that comes up to enable it, and all the buttons should be functional because we're just following kind of the template that Tyranno has put because, frankly, their stuff works. If we try to do stuff on our own, for some reason, we get all sorts of weird bugs. So we're going to do that now. Um, moving on in the content for day two and why we had, we're pushing back to later in April. It was, um, frankly, it was a decision that was made when we were looking at going to the routing and we were deciding, okay, we have to do these edits. We're, we're getting things ready for a big play testing session. We're going through and we're taking feedback from people that have played it saying, okay, we need more rooting. We need more of this. We need more of that. We need something else. And so we're, as we're doing the edits for the last minute edits on day two, we're saying, okay, how can we add some of that? How can we address these concerns that some of the players have? And yeah, day two has grown a tiny bit. We have increased our, um, increase the rooting. We've got a few more things here and there. And during that process, it was a decision that was made because we saw an opportunity. And especially me, I, I was the one that was doing most of the writing and trying to do all the project managing. And I'm looking at this opportunity and I'm just going, I don't think we can pass this up. So I contacted uh, Ryan, uh, VPs, uh, I mean, Tester, he's a guy who, you've seen it, you haven't seen him for a long time on the vids, he did our little intro vid, and I contacted all the artists, and I said, hey, this is the idea, I want to, we want to, I want to add this scene, and I don't know if we can get it done before day two has to launch, because I know getting the art content done is going to draw, so how can we do it, get it out quickly, and the thing was, a lot of the artists were like, yeah, yeah, that sounds neat, uh, Ryan was like, he was really interested, if we can get it done fast, we can get this out there, get it in, so I uh, approached Winks on it, and I said, can you get this done within a short amount of time, and because I was willing to, it's that big of a scene, it's huge enough, it's going to tease things for story arcs later, which is really important and quite a few other things. And we do have concept art on it. So I approached her and she said, yeah, I can do it. So uh, I made the decision to stop what we were working on at that time, the pipeline, even though it's had a couple, we have two artists that are going full, full, full force right now. And Khan has, he's starting to come back in. So we're actually up to three now. Georgie just, he just pretty much finished the, um, 
this one piece he was working on, but he's been busy in, in Russia, so we're kind of, stuff happens, I mean, it's just real life goes on. But what I want to go over is, I'm just going to give a brief, like, teaser of it. If you followed the project, uh, if you followed some of our postings years ago with Muse, then you kind of know who these characters are. You know, because uh, we've talked about them before, they're not unknown, but I'm just going to give a teaser on some of the stuff that we're working on. I don't want to show the full image. So you're not going to see the full the full a final image that's going in the game just know it is done and the this what you're about to see the teaser is not what the final image looks like all the way now we uh, winks did a really awesome thing she's amazing she did multiple sketches of different poses and all the things so we kind of we kind of picked which poses we want and everything to kind of fit what we're going to do so i'm just going to tease this and this is just a, again it's a very base sketch what we're going to do, and these two characters are going to be uh, making their appearance in Dust and Air. And it's going to be an early appearance. They originally were slated for the story arcs, and they're coming in. So we worked out a situation where we can do it without cutting, not cutting into the time, cutting into the, the development, and actually get it done in a way where it looks good, but it's, yeah. So it's, it works, anyway, either way. And I also want to go into, besides that, we also have production going on on some of, these are the last art images we kind of need. And we have our Cathedral Guard. And he has done a, we've done a big revision on him. Originally it was concepted by Bayou. And Bayou did some uh, colorized work on it, however, and the more the longer it went we needed we we knew we needed something different so that is actually in color right now just about done and then we're going to move on to our yeshin guard that we are going to have at the event uh winks is going to be starting on him real soon here she's she's been really coming through on us uh, working hard getting a lot of this stuff done uh quickly so we're very grateful for for her coming onto the project, and she's been just kicking butt. Now, uh, Winx has been, she's been doing a lot of the color work, because she has some shading techniques that are closer to Georgie's. And so we're, it's not 100% Georgie, but it's, it's helping, so we can kind of offload some of the workload right now. So uh, both of these were done by Ingrid. She did the base model, Ingrid's been awesome with many of the uh, character models and we're really we're really glad to be working with her and she's totally she's an awesome artist if you need art work winks and ingrid definitely reach out to us we'll get you their contact information they they, they do do commissions and we will gladly uh we will gladly get you in contact with them now lastly the other piece that we're looking at to close out that's basically just about done right now. Actually, there's two pieces, but the other one we will leave. I'm not going to te tease it right now, but we have a background image. The last major background image for day two is currently just about done. And this is Khan. Khan has come on board. He has been, um, we said, hey, we need to get this done within such and such a time. And so he has been coming through big time right now. And yeah, it's really been awesome to see Khan's work again. Is he's he's definitely a he's definitely one of our our better uh, background artists that we've had work on the project. Georgie does backgrounds, Khan does backgrounds, but Khan typically has done some of the big giant um, expansive backgrounds. What you're looking at is a preview teaser thing that he did for the inside of the cathedral. Now, I know we kind of showcased something a while back with Inside the Cathedral. Bayou kind of worked on that, too. It's just we, the more we looked at it in the scene, the more we needed something different. And so Khan has come on and has done some major work there. And he, the images he just sent us regarding that recently have been improved even more. So we definitely want that sense of when you enter the cathedral, when William enters the cathedral, that you're in this ancient world this ancient building and it's dark it's not as brightly lit it's just like you're entering another world and 
Um, the previous image that we had for that just didn't quite do it. So Khan has stepped up. He's been really awesome with that. And again, if you want some of his, uh, if you want to reach out to him and have him do a commission for you of any kind, definitely reach out to us. We'll get you in contact with him as well. Again, he's a very good backgrounder. Very good with uh, cityscapes, doing big, sprawling images. So he can definitely, he's definitely an asset to have if you're looking for some art like that. Uh, and I think that is about all that we have for this video of the month. Um, pending, no, there's no changes. We're going to be finishing up testing and stuff so probably early into April and then we'll be launching towards the end of April on the day two content patch. I'm not going to guarantee we're going to get the config menu in all the way during that because we still got to do some testing on that. We still got to do a bit of work. Uh, yeah, you know, we're going to have to see on some of the bugs because some of those, it's, I mean, I don't expect a major bug patch. Like we're going to get everything squashed to this patch. Oh my gosh, why haven't you fixed these bugs? Well, because some of it's Tyranno backend, and some of it is requiring a lot more than we originally expected it to be. And we are counting on Tyranno. They're saying that, yeah, these things are going to be fixed. And we know some of it's probably going to be waiting until we get the big, huge, like, re overhaul build of, of the engine. So when that comes, definitely a lot of this stuff is going to change. Either way, April's going to be busy, so, yeah, a lot of testing, a lot of work getting day two, and with that, going into day three, most of day three is actually a bit more further along than day two. Day two is just we had a lot more character work, a lot of the things that need to be done. Day three, we pretty much had kind of gotten mostly done. It was just, day three is going to be, I think we have one basic character, and then uh, we got um, a stocks character which needs some of the personality like the ex he needs the expressions and stuff done we got all the models so those are all ready that's great so we're probably going to be uh, sh shifting that over to uh, winks to finish up the expressions to get that all out and then day three is like should follow pretty quick now the question going into further beyond april is are we going to merge day three and day four that is day four is kind of small day three is a bit bigger the question is, do we do the like a big content patch and just do them both? We might do that. Uh, we are looking at a lot of those options right now, going in to seeing how we can make the uh, release date to exit early access uh, by summer. So other than that, I think that's about it for this vlog. Thank you for joining, and thank if you are a backer or if you are somebody that's just purchased or just started to join us for this ride, just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for joining us on this journey, and please stay tuned. Uh, we'll be having more updates as we go, more... This is gonna, this is a, not a, like, in and out quick project. It's gonna, we're gonna be working on it for a while, but... We're going to do everything we can to get those story arcs and everything else out as soon as we can so we can get this done and you can get it in your hands. So thank you for joining. Uh, we will see you in the skies. Bye.